What am I going to do with some parachute, some line, and some trees? We're going to make a teepee. <laughs> well, welcome to my office. This spot is good. It's level. There aren't any hazards. There aren't any dead trees with my arm being held about 45 degree angle that are over the top of my hand. If there's a dead tree that's over the top of my hand with my arm outstretched like this, that means it's tall enough to fall in our shelter. We do not want that. We're close to resources. We're away from major hazards. We're not putting our shelter in a dry riverbed that could possibly flood up. We're not on a major animal trail that could come through, stomp on us in the middle of the night. This spot will work. First, inventory of materials. We have a parachute. It is 14 gores or 14 sections of this parachute. All the line is taken out in between the seams. It's cut. 14, now we need to measure. Even up all these ends, tie about four to six inches from the bottom to allow for, once it's tied up, to be able to stretch it down and get it closer to the ground. So you leave a little bit of space there, go up towards the top. Now we can check the radial seam that we tied off to, stretch it out just a tad, and go up about five to 10 inches, somewhere in there, and that's where you can make your shear lash around all three of your poles to make your tripod. Three wraps around, three fraps in between each one. Three and three, wraps and fraps for load bearing applications, ending it with a clove hitch. And then I'm also gonna put a couple more half hitches or another clove hitch around this, since this is gonna be a little bit more permanent. Just in case, now we can take the parachute off, stand it up. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, before we stand this up, let's trim these tops. You wanna do this one? Why are you laying down? Cause it's easier. Let's stand it up. How am I gonna do it? Oh. Wait, we forgot something. What? We need to make sure every log is smooth. Did you ever happy cry? Are you ready? Ready. Happy cry? Did I ever happy cry? Yeah, when you were born. Ready to raise the roof? Anyone else in the work? Uh-huh. Raise it up. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Arrow tipped over on me. So it is going to be a three-fold pee, pee Now we're going to put more in. Help me with this one. Okay. Towards you. So I'm going to mess around with this for a bit. You want about 12 feet of space on the inside. So you can use a piece of line. You can put a stick in the middle, measure out six feet, and then make a nice diameter. A loop on a stick, about six feet out. I got a knot on the end. We both found it. <laughs> okay, hold on. We have our tripod evenly spaced. We have everything measured out six feet. Now for the lay poles. Oops. I wrapped it around a lot. Put your teepee poles in so they lock together nicely. Oh, 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 oh,